<laughs> What's up guys? Mel and Meg here again. And this week we're here to share the 20 things we learned in our 20s. 1. Time alone is time well spent. Number 2. Turn off your phone. Number 3. Never be ashamed of the music that you listen to. Number 4. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. And what I mean by that is your life and your personality are going to change every single day. So accept change as it comes and don't, you know, focus so much on the future and put all of your future plans and your endeavors into one solid thought that you're holding. Allow change to come and allow yourself to change um, and change your future plans every day. Number five, stay humble. Admit your faults, be kind, and acknowledge that you're not perfect and that's okay. Number six, never go to bed angry. Number seven, you don't have to have it all figured out right now. Number eight, always take time to tell people when they're doing a good job. So it takes two seconds to tell someone, hey, you're really killing it. And it can change someone's entire day, their entire week. So take the time to recognize people and tell them when they're doing good, just even it's surviving, you know, just tell them, hey, you're awesome. You're doing a great job. Number nine, it's okay to cry. Number 10, Hug your parents. That's a big one. That's a big one. Yeah. Number 11, don't be afraid to ask questions. No question is a stupid question. If you want to know something, ask. You know, nobody's going to be mad at you for asking questions. You need to know things to so ask. Number 12, how you do anything is how you do everything. So whether you are talking to your friend or talking to a teacher, writing a paper, taking out the trash for your parents, any act you do in this life is a representation of who you are as a person. Number 13, if things don't turn out the way they're supposed to, that's okay. Just go with the flow and don't freak out about what's not going right. Then everything's just gonna blow up in your face. So just go with the flow and let things happen as they do. Number 14, you don't need more stuff. Number 15, keep a planner. Don't just think you're gonna remember things, write it down. This has been a really big one for me. It doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but I'll forget important dates, events, appointments that I'm supposed to go to. So keep a planner and write things down because you are most likely going to forget it. Number 16, don't take anything personally. This is a huge one for me that I've taken a really long time to kind of learn and put into my lifestyle. And what I mean by this is that if someone's a jerk, they're a jerk. If they're a jerk to you, that's no reflection of you. And it's nothing against you. That person is just a jerk and that's okay. You're still a good person. It has nothing against you. If you like somebody or if you have feelings for somebody and they don't feel the same way about you, it's not you. They don't have the same feelings that you have and that's okay. It's okay that you have feelings for someone and they don't have feelings for you. It's nothing against you as a person. That's within themselves. So don't take anything personally. Number 17, take good care of yourself now. That means physically and mentally. When you look back when you're 80, 90 years old or however old you are, and you look back on your 20s, you're gonna be so thankful that you started exercising, you started eating right, and you took good care of yourself. Because when you get to that age, Trust me, I work with the elderly. I've heard stories of things they would have done differently and they regret some of the things that they've done, like smoking, a lot of that. <laughs> a lot of my residents have COPD and lung issues and they tell me they wish they had never even picked up a cigarette. So make healthy choices now and as you get older, your body's gonna thank you and you're gonna live a nice, long, healthy life. Number 18, your mom is always right. Number 19, embrace failure. So this may be hard for a lot of people to do, but failing is what success is built on. So don't fear failure. It means you're taking risks and you're making decisions that will eventually lead you to success. Number 20, be ruthless with your well-being. And this is massive. Now that I'm 23 years old, I wish, looking back when I was in high school and Thing. I wish I could have developed this earlier in my lifestyle. Um, what I mean by being ruthless with your well-being is any toxic people, toxic behaviors, toxic environments, get them out of your life. Toxic people are going to do nothing to serve you. 
a toxic environment will never help you grow and toxic actions that you're doing are just going to weigh you down as a human being and you're not going to ever progress and really live with people or places or things weighing you down. Don't be afraid to cut people out of your life. It sounds mean and it sounds heartless and it's hard. It's not easy to do. It's good. If you're a good person, it's hurtful and it, it's really difficult, but there are going to be times in your life when you have to do that. And having a small circle of maybe four or five really, really good friends is better than a massive circle of people that use you. Just and your fake friends. Yeah. Don't. They, they don't contribute anything to your life or your well-being. Um, environment, don't be afraid to go and explore and experience things. Don't get weighed down by the fear of the unknown. And habits, like Mo said, take care of yourself. Don't be afraid to do things for yourself and to say no or to say yes to things. Just at the end of the day, remember yourself. So that's it guys, those are 20 things we have learned so far in our 20s and we still have so much to learn but we hope that you took something from this and you gained something from this and there's still so much time left and we have so much more learning to do as individuals. Obviously we aren't the brightest or the wisest, you know, folks out there but the things that we have learned have made us incredibly happy people. I feel as though the universe all comes together when you're meant to learn things and when the time comes you'll realize and be like, oh my gosh, what was I doing all this time? This is what I should have been doing. Blah, 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 whatever. You'll learn and you'll grow. That's all we have for you this week, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to. My vlog channel will be linked down below, so go and check that out, please, guys, and subscribe if you want to. That's all we have for this week, guys. So on that note, we will see you next Friday. I told you I'm living my best life. I told you I'm living my best life. I made a couple L's with my best friends. Turned all my L's into lessons. But uh, wait. But I'm bum.